and he did some math. I did a little math last night because you know I just wanted to see. You know, it's like I got all these thoughts in my head, mm -hmm. scenarios. Like, let's put pen to paper, and okay. I still put pen to paper. You, this I, I can I confirm this. You have look, spectacular look, penmanship. Pen, pen paper right here, man. You're, you're, it's you're not even you're, in my computer. Your penmanship is incredible. Thank you. Thank you very much. Probably a lot of typos on there because they don't auto correct, but that's just the nature of life. That's now. what that's. But see, that's when your focus is heightened. I agree on what you're doing. Completely you know, agree. Oh, I can't scribble it out. Ain't nothing scarier. Ugly. Ain't nothing scarier than that handwritten note I write. Yeah, it's <laughs> terrifying. Cards. I, I still do yeah. that on cards, and that's yep. just like me too. Whew. Ooh, stressful sweating just beads of sweat <laughs> dropping down like it's i before e except after c all right got it that's the lyric i got it <laughs> um ridiculous but and roddy asked the question in the chat he said did casey go through the remaining king schedule like me it's funny you say that roddy because i saw you earlier when he said the king is finishing 12 and 13 to finish the season and i'm totally fine with that um so here's the deal right I look at this situation here with the way this season ends. And I did the same study as Roddy did. Mm. King's got 25 games left. Okay. Obviously, you can't go 500. We keep saying, go 500. Well, they can't go 500. With 25. Well, yesterday you could have. Yeah, yesterday. But <laughs> I did it after the game. So 25 games left, you can't go 500. Yeah. Um, and I took the worst case scenario. What I believe is the worst what I believe is the worst case scenario. Like okay. not saying 500. I could have said they go 13 and 12. I said, no, let's, let's say 12 and 13. They finished 12 and 13. Mm -hmm. They finished with a record of 44 and 38. Okay. Then I took all the teams that are currently in the play in 44 and 38. It's about on pace for what they've been the last couple of weeks, mm -hmm. six, seven, eight games above 500. Yep, absolutely. Uh, I finished six games over in that scenario. Mm-hmm. So I took all the teams that are below them in the standings. And I said, this is what they need to do in their remaining games to have a better record than the Sacramento Kings. Mm -hmm. You got the Phoenix Suns. They got 23 games left. To have a better record than the Kings, they'd have to go 13 and 10. Very doable. Like, I think yeah. that'll happen yeah. personally. Yeah. So that's one team ahead of them. Kings, okay. you know, move to four. Down to four. The Clippers got 22 games left. They'd have to go 13 and nine yeah. to end the season. After what I saw yesterday, yeah. I think they'll be down, able to attain that. Down to five. <laughs> down to five. <laughs> now you got the Mavericks. The Mavericks has 23 games left. They've got to go 14 and nine to finish the season. And remember, remember when I say this, mm -hmm. this is with the Kings playing under 500. I mean, it's, it's not conceivable the Kings finish 15 and 10 to finish a the season. Absolutely not. You know what I mean? I've just went with the worst case scenario for argument's sake. We're playing devil's advocate. Mavericks would have to go 14 it's, and 9 in that situation. We hope this is the worst case we scenario. Hope, we hope. Yeah. 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 Not, Knock on whatever. There's no is, indication what, what that. Granite? I don't know. What yeah. I, I don't know what it is either. Just knock on it. I always do. <laughs> it's just. just knock on it. It's fine. <laughs> but. The Mavs in that scenario with the Kings playing under 500 mm -hmm. would still have to go 14 and nine to finish ahead of the Kings. Could okay. happen, but I don't know. So like I said, I don't know about that. Now you get into your Pelicans. They got 24 games left. Mm -hmm. They'd have to finish 15 and nine to be better than the Kings. See, that feels like a bigger stretch than Dallas. Finishing what was it fourteen and nine fifteen? 14, and nine. Yeah, yeah. It feels like the, the Pelicans doing that feels like a far bigger stretch. I to me, I agree. I agree. You got the T Wolves. They got twenty two games left. Yeah, they got to finish fourteen and eight in twenty two games. They haven't come close. I don't to that think all they've year. done that all year. Yeah. It's not happening. Warriors twenty four games left. We'll talk about them in a second. They got to go sixteen and eight to finish the season. Um. Are they under 500 or 500 exactly right I think they're now? 500 you know? exactly. I mean, they are. They're 29 and 29. And they're the they're the only team. They're they're one. It's like he's saying. They're the only team in the top 20 teams in the NBA that still doesn't have double digit wins on the road. That's crazy. They're 7 and 22. They're 22 and 7 at home and 7 and 22 on the road. That is absolutely stunning. It's crazy. And then you got the Jazz. For context, the Lakers are 13 and 18 and they're 26 and 32. <laughs> right. And then you've got 
the Jazz 23 games left. They'd have to go 16 and 7. So worst case scenario, with the Kings finishing a game under 500 in the final 25, they should be in some type of postseason situation, a play-in situation. I think they'll be in top six. Here's the deal. I went to the schedule. Okay. And I wasn't looking for 12 games, but I just went down the schedule. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I went absolute, once again, relatively speaking, you guys know what I mean, worst case scenario. For the Kings. Please don't do what I think you're about to do. I found 12 wins. Please don't. Just don't name them all. I'm not. No, I'm not going to okay. name them. I got, I got them here, but I'm okay. not going to name them. Yeah, don't but name I found, them. I found 12 wins. Because we, we, I we found, know how that goes. I, I came up with 12 wins. Okay. I'm not afraid, though. I know you're not. Like, I'm, I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm like, politely they, asking you I, not I, I to read I believe in this off. team. This team handles business. They do what they do. But I got 12 wins. Mm-hmm. They've got two more back-to-back situations. Don't have them sweeping either one of those. I don't uh, have them. Oklahoma City and Phoenix? And Portland. Oh, Oklahoma City and Portland. I don't have them sweeping. Okay. They play the Clippers two more times. I don't have them beating the Clippers not once. Mm. They play the Suns two more times. Smart. I don't have them beating the Suns not once. I don't have them beating New Orleans not once. Really? I don't have them beating uh, Milwaukee or Boston. I don't even think I have them beating Chicago. And I still Well, came... apparently, I don't think anyone is beating Mil- Milwaukee, by the no. way. It was funny. I think they were on a 10-game win streak for like four weeks, and they just <laughs> won their 11th straight game right. last night. They, Felt yeah. like they hadn't played in a month. Yeah, they had a super long... Uh, they had an all-star break. Really? Like, the Milwaukee the Bucks had an all-star break. All right. So, in that, I, I say all this is to say, in this practice that I did, mm-hmm. I said, let's just say they lose to almost all the good teams. Because okay. that's what everybody thinks Chicago. is going to happen. Chicago Bulls. Yeah, and at Chicago, that's things. No, I, I I meant they're the Chicago Bulls oh, last yes. year. There you go. Because that's what everybody thinks is going to happen in the second half anyway. You know, just games get tougher. And all it the gets tougher. Time. Yeah. So I said, fine. Don't beat any of the good teams. Still came up with 12 wins. Okay. Everybody calm down. The Kings are finishing in the top six. But no, it, the top six. Now, I'm, now I'm angry. It was all argument stake. Do I believe? Wait, they no, hang can't on. Beat New Orleans, sure. How many times have the Warriors been here? Twice. They've been here once. They oh, played just them once. Three times. They played them three times, but two of them were at, at Chase Cor- Center. Yeah. Okay, because one of those seven wins is here. Not for the Warriors. They lost here. They lost here. Yeah. They lost here. Where was the first one? The first one was that a first one? Was, they first two were in Golden State. Oh, okay. And then the, all right. That's when you left me and Olivia. Where was I? You left. You were at the game. You left. <laughs> oh, where I left you and Olivia. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Warren G night. No, that's right? that's yeah, it was it was it was West Coast hip hop night. West Coast hip hop night. And magically, uh, D-Lo goes home at halftime, and it's it's courtside. <laughs> we were Kenny. looking for cotton cotton candy. <laughs> we we did. We we scoured the <laughs> arena for cotton candy, and uh, no, it's okay. You don't have to look anymore. And then I leave and all these videos being posted sitting next to Mike Brown. Uh, May back old giving uh, Mike Brown advice on what substitutes to run to make sure that the Kings win. Yeah, man. But I mean, I, I say all this to say. Acting like she was sad. I left. As soon as I walk out the door, hey, we're going down to your seats now, Kenny. <laughs> Kenny, can we go to your seat since he's finally gone? <laughs> I honestly didn't think we were going to get him out on we a were, Sunday we were, night. We were broken up, man. We were broken up that D-Lo didn't stay around. Yeah, really looked well, like Well, we it. got that win, though. Looked like it. Did get the win. We got the win. Oak saw the beam before I did. I don't even think we looked to the sky that. <laughs> it was still new. <laughs> I don't even think we, we didn't <laughs> make no mind to no beam. <laughs> yeah. Probably was only the, what, second or third time it was lit. <laughs> yeah. We didn't pay no mind to the to the roof of the Golden One Center. <laughs> I was busy listening to regulate. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, man, I say all that to say, I mean, and that doesn't take into account a number of different things, right? So like Phoenix and the Clippers play each other on Thursday. It's a guaranteed loss for somebody. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm sure the the Mavericks play the Suns again this year. It's a loss for somebody. Like those losses are gonna happen. And once again, this is me saying taking an absolute pessimistic view on the Sacramento Kings. Kings just ain't gonna beat no good teams the rest of the year. 
Sure, have at it. Still found 12. I think I think it's more realistic. The Kings finish about 15 and 10. I think okay. that's how they finish the, the season, about 15 and 10. Which, uh, uh, again, that's not playing above their head. That's no. what they've been for damn near 60 games this season. Mm-hmm. And at looking at all of these other teams, you you mentioned, and I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head, but uh, the, the 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 numbers for New Orleans, maybe New Orleans is wrong, but the numbers for Minnesota definitely aren't. Mm-hmm. Minnesota has not played like that one time this year. Fourteen and eight, they have not done that this no. year. Now, Min- uh, New Orleans might have. New Orleans uh, did for a quick you, second you, with you, Zion, and I don't it, know it, if it, Brandon Ingram was there or not. I don't think he was because yeah. that was a topic of conversation on this show. Right. Utah has. It's just a question of whether you bought what you saw or not, because they haven't done it since. Once mm-hmm. they declined, it was like the opposite of the Kings. When, when, when you when you said get, was it five games above mm-hmm. five hundred and don't ever look back? Well, they haven't. Once Utah went down, they never went back up. Right now, they haven't right. sunk like so many people thought that they would. They've 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 stayed afloat. Like they're right there. If they want, we said this earlier. If you want a play in spot, it's available for you. Mm-hmm. The question will become at some point, who actually wants it? San Antonio's fine. Houston's fine. They're in the lottery. They're very, very high in the lottery. Who else wants to to play the ping pong ball game? And, you know, we'll we'll see what Portland looks like. Mm -hmm. Uh, We'll see what Utah looks like. I mean, there's questions about, you know, Russell Westbrook in Utah. And I've got a question about Russell Westbrook in Utah. Well, Go ahead. Birdie told me Russ is meeting with the Clippers today. Nobody else has this. But a Birdie told me that. Very reliable. Like the Birdie that told me, they don't ever tell me nothing about NBA news. Okay. So we'll see what happens there. Okay. Meeting with the Clippers, though. Okay. 